book shall I take? Mm, yes. I'll take this one. Awadhi, also known as Awadhi, is an Eastern Hindi language of the Indo-Aryan branch spoken in the northern India. It is primarily spoken in the Awadhi region of present-day Uttar Pradesh, India. The name Awadhi is connected to Ayodhya, the ancient city which is regarded as the homeland of the Hindu god Rama. Linguistically, Awadhi is a language at par with Hindustani. As a result, modern standard Hindi rather than Awadhi is used for school instructions as well as administrative and official purposes and its literature falls within the scope of Hindi literature. Avadi is usually written with Devanagari alphabet or with the Kaiti alphabet or with a mixture of the two. It was first appeared in writing during the 12th century in the work of Damodara Pandita. Avadi has a similarity with two other important dialects of India, namely Bhajpuri and Bihari. However, in spite of their similarities, each one of them have retained their individuality and uniqueness. It is a language in which poets Malik Mohammed Jayasi and Gauswami Tulsidas wrote Padmavat and Ram Charit Manas respectively. The Hanuman Chalisa written by Tulsidas in praise of Hanmanji is an Avadi composition. Now let us see the clothes worn by people of Avad. Kali Kutta. It is open from front and has a round neck. The Kalis give a fuller look to the garment. Choga. The long sleeved choga is used as an outer garment. It is made of rare soft black pashmina. It is open from front but fastened at waist level. Angalaka. It is made of kinkwa brocade. Angalaga is one, uh, is one elegant piece of avadi costume. It was a traditional and a courtly outfit worn by men. Face wash. It is op- opulent, avadi clothing design for women. It is in the form of a tunic and comprised a fitted skirt. Fasli pajama. It is worn by royal women, especially in the court of Fabad. It is a flared parted skirt held by drawstrings. Farsi derives from the word fas, which means floor as the pajama was of floor length. Garara it is one of the most elegant traditional outfits. It is comprised a knee length kutti teamed up with a pair of widely flared pajama. The modern day palazzo is actually a twist to the garara pajama. Sharara This outfit is worn by women generally to weddings. It has a flat pants as lowered with skirt like outline below the knee. It is pad a kutti and dupatta to complete the look. Agai cushion is a wholesome experience in dining manners and luxury. Various dishes that combine to form Agai's food were perfected by expert chef of the royal kitchens and the Nawabas of Agai. The desire for achieving a unique style is reflected in the Dampur style of preparation, which is considered to be the hallmark of Adva cooking. Adva cooking consists of both vegetarian and non-vegetarian dishes. Some of the most celebrated dishes include kebabs, biryani, komara and nihari. Kebabs are mostly made of minced meat and or vegetable bound in the shape of this or cylindrical form. Some of the most popular non-vegetarian kebabs are kakori, shami and both. Vegetarian versions include kaasal, arabi and matar kebab. The Advai Dam Biryani is a rice dish in which the rice and meat are cooked separately and then layered and cooked again for several hours in a sealed vessel over a low fire. It is known for the exotic use of spices, rice, fruit and nuts. Mughals were fancy people in their choice of eating. Mughal dishes usually have lots of milk, cream, spices that make the food very spicy and rich in flavor. Some of the best Mughal dishes available in, in India are biryani, boti kebab, mutton, gili, gala. Adwai foods is a, made with 100 types of spices, but the reality is every dish is prepared with a handful of uncommon spices that bring the taste. The meat is marinated properly prior to cooking, which gives a delightful taste. Fish, red meat, and vegetables are marinated in curds and spices that give the taste texture. Some of the best Adwai dishes available in India are biryani, mutton, korma, and mutton. Is one of the six major classical dance forms of India and a prominent part of Avadi music 
and dance traditions. It is often hailed as one of the most enchanting theatrical forms of the world. It derives its tradition and name from the storytellers or tataks of the olden days. In fact, every historical place in India, particularly northern India, has left its mark in the development of this Kathak. The content for Kathak is often drawn from mythology, from the tales of internal love between Krishna and Radha. Because of its comprehensive nature and its wonderful visual, visual attraction, Kathak is an extremely popular dance form. Northern Indian Kathak dance differs from the South Indian Bharatanatyam in several ways even though both have roots in the Hindu text Natya Shastra. Kathak is normally performed in a standing form with legs and torsos typically straight while Bharatanatyam extensively utilizes bent knee form. Kathak is also different from Kathakali though both are Indian classical traditions of story play wherein the stories have been traditionally derived from the Hindu epics and the Puranas. Both dance forms trace their roots to classical Sanskrit texts, but Kathakali has... Avad festivals. Avad have been known for their grand holy celebrations, a symbol of communal amity between Hindus and Muslims. Thayal is a form of semi-classical singing which comes from the royal courts of Avad. Other than that, Swanga is a dance drama of semi-historical tales and ballads. Bharat Mila or Chat Puja is supposed to ha- to be supposed to be a big fair in the, in the state of Awad and it attracts tourists from all over the country. This festival is dedicated to worship the sun, god of energy, and is believed to cure, cure incurable diseases the culture. like leprosy. And the literature in the state of Awad. The rulers of Awad were patter, patron of arts and culture. They inherited the Mughal traditions and strengthened this by creating an atmosphere of trust and cooperation amongst their subjects. They created an environment of wide aspects culture, literature, arts, religion, and philosophy. Learning Culture was associated with Persian, yet there was space for indigenous traditions which too played their role. Emerging as a cultural hub of North India, Dabad, Awad developed in its own style in many spheres of culture, providing them with, with its sophistication. Now let us learn about the public hero of the Indian literature. Known commonly as public hero, Tulsidas was born in the year of 1554 at Awad. He lost his parents at a very young age and was raised by Guru Naharidas. His original name was Rambola. He was a great devotee of Lord, Ra- Lord Rama. He wrote many books and novels such as Ramcharitmanas, Vinay Patrika, Gita Vali, Kavita Vali, Doha Vali and etc. His writings are written in simple Awadi. He died in the year of 1680. Ramcharitmanas this book tells the story of Lord Rama. Lord Rama. This book was written in Avadi. This book was the guidance for people in those days. Vinay Patrika. One day, God appears in front of the author and warns him of his dangers. Then Tulsidas prayed to his favorite God, Lord Rama, and requested him to save from his dangers. This is the central theme of this book. This book contains 276 poems.